When the U.S. Supreme Court recently ruled that abortion rights are not protected, it got Kara Ingersoll's creative juices flowing. I like made a joke about making a t-shirt that says no uterus, no opinion, because I thought, oh, if I don't, if I wanted this person to be in my business and in my uterus, I would hope it would be another doctor, like a gynecologist, not the Supreme Court. The 15-year-old from Houston, Texas, also deleted her period tracking app. I deleted it because no matter why, I don't like my information getting out. Ingersoll isn't alone. With most abortions now outlawed in many states, digital privacy experts are worried that online activity could be weaponized against those who seek an abortion. It raises really serious questions about the boundaries of digital surveillance and how the same information can be used to target people. With a search warrant or a subpoena, police can access a person's online search history, geolocation, and messaging information. Some companies have taken steps to protect privacy. Google announced it would delete users' visits to abortion clinics from their location histories, while period tracking apps like Flow are working on an anonymous mode that would omit users' personal info from their profiles. But in some cases, users may unwittingly provide consent for their devices to be searched. Police come up to you and they say, can we search your phone? You might not feel safe saying no, um, especially if you're in a hospital situation and you're being scrutinized for your pregnancy outcome. Digital rights advocates have stepped up calls for tech firms to limit the user data they collect and store, fueling a bigger push for federal digital privacy laws. The problem is that there are hundreds of websites and apps that collect information. Meanwhile, multitudes of American women who rely on technology want to know how to protect their personal information from prying eyes. Tina Trin, VOA News.